As many of you guys are aware, who does a full large interior posture spread is extremely important. When it comes to maxilla, oftentimes sinus um, hangs down low, where there's very soft and not enough quantity and quality of bone on the posterior, where a lot of our implants end up in the first premolar side, um, etc. However, when we put all the implants on the interior, every time we chew on the posterior, that creates an uneven and very unfavorable repeated occlusal overload, where implants in the front tends to get loose or bone loss, and uh, it doesn't create a predictable solution. This is a case uh, where I did wire back where you can see the silhouette of the uh, sinus uh, floor. However, you can see this implant penetrating through the sinus floor and then entering to the, the nasal cortex, really maximizing anterior posterior spread by being able to put this implant more posteriorly to the second premolar side. Essentially, implant goes through sinus, therefore we call it trans-sinus implant. It's a unique, um, as you can see, this is the implant that we're looking at. It enters alveolar bone here, and then I already did a sinus lift at the time I placed this implant, and you can see it exits out of the sinus floor, passing this cortex here, which is a good strong bone, and it further um, goes up and engages the, the nasal floor. The cortical bone here is not really that good. There's a um, passage of first cortical um, bone here, and here, and also here, engaging three cortical bone instead of zero, in this case, um, increasing its stability um, quite more significantly. Again, I did the sinus lift at the same time I placed this sinus implant, and you can see it like, exiting um, the sinus floor, and then the apex engages nicely with uh, the nasal floor. This is another good way to improve the AP spread to help with the longevity of this Olonex case. And also, it's another great tool to add for um, full large surgeons to be able to provide increased likelihood of same-day uh, immediate load protocol.